It's Ricky from Ricky's Pretties with another project. I'm not calling this a tutorial because it's really just kind of a craft with me. I decided this is something I wanted to do, so I figured why not do it in a video because, I mean, if I'm crafting, I might as well do it in a video, right? And um, it's kind of cold outside, so my heater's on. You can probably hear it because it's a noisy little beast. And um, if you can, I'm sorry but it will kick off here in just a minute. What I'm gonna do is another glass block. I have this cute little napkin that I got. I can't remember where I got this. I think I got this on a Facebook group that used to be called Heather's Napkins, but Heather doesn't do that anymore. She sold her stock to somebody else and now I don't know where it's at, but you can use any cute napkin you want. This is the bigger block from Hobby Lobby. It is seven and a half by seven and a half and this is a regular size napkin it's not the cocktail napkin you know the little smaller one it's a regular size is what I'm using so you just want to use the size of napkin or an image that's appropriate to whatever size block you're using because they have different sizes um, I also have rub and buff I started using this because they got rid of my favorite doc holiday rub that I liked in that um, antique bronze that I've used in some of my other projects, so I've had to switch over and start getting used to this. This is the closest thing I can find to it. And this is in silver leaf. Because of the colors that are in this, I thought it would be nice to do silver and grays and things like that. I have some plastic wrap for when I get ready to Mod Podge the napkin on here. I have Mod Podge and gloss. I have some fairy lights. These are not what I wanted to use, but I have these on hand already, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, these actually go into a bottle. They make fairy lights that are flat, you know, that have the little flat thing. Um, you can get those on Amazon if you prefer that. But this is what I have, so that's what I'm using. And then I have DuraClear High Gloss Varnish by Deco Art. It's Americana. You get this at Hobby Lobby. It's I just bought this, it was like eight bucks. It's hardly ever on sale, but it lasts a long time. It goes a long way. I have Spectra glitter. This is my favorite, it looks like glass glitter, but it's not. And I have some chonky glitter. This is jumbo glitter. They sell this at Walmart and it's in crystal quartz. And I have some tools that I have. I got this, I think at Hobby Lobby, I'm pretty sure. I got a little, I got a roll couple rolls of this. I got some gray silver and some gold at the same time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to do this like you would an ornament. Basically, I'm going to put some of this in here and then I'm going to put some glitter in there and um, then we're going to let it dry. So this is what I'm doing first. I'm not shaking this up because I don't want any bubbles in here. I already had something in here that I messed up on, so it's got spots. I don't know how well this is going to turn out. That's why I'm like, and I don't even know if it's going to turn out. That's why I'm saying it's not a tutorial because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I just have this idea, and this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just pour some of this in here. If I can, is the, let me see if I got the seal off of it. Nope. I got to take the seal off first. Like I said, it's a brand new bottle. Didn't think about that before the video, guys. Sorry about that. Alrighty, now I'm going to pour some of this in here. I have some uh, wax paper down too. So that if I make a mess, I'm not making a mess all over my mat that I have. I don't have any idea how much of this I'm going to need. So I'm just going to kind of, more than that, obviously. Squirt some of this in here and just kind of let it go around. It's quite thick, so this might take a minute.
Okay, so basically I set this up and let it drain for like probably 30 minutes. And then I wipe the excess off of the outside and inside this little lip here. And I don't see any globs, which is what I'm aiming for because I don't want my glitter to clump if I can help it. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm ready to put my glitter in. So I'm gonna start with this Spectra glitter and I'm going to just generously dump it in here. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And then I'm gonna dump some of the chunky glitter in. Lots and lots and lots. <laughs> okay. And I don't know if that's enough or not, but we'll soon find out. I'm gonna put the lid on so I can kind of shake it around and get it everywhere. I just want it to go everywhere. I like that. That looks pretty. I think it's turning out, y'all. I think it's turning out. I have a spot where there's not as much chunky glitter, but that's okay. I think that's where our napkin will go. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Okay, so that's all coated. I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to dump the excess on here. Get as much out as I can. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to stick this in the oven. I have the oven on warm. And I'm going to put this in there for a couple of hours to get it all nice and dry. And then we'll be back to do the rest. I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay guys, so this is all nice and sparkly. I'm sorry, I know I got out of frame on the last video segment, but it was really hard to do that without looking at it. So I did get out of frame a couple of times. and But you got the idea, hopefully. But this is what it looks like. It's all sparkly and it's all on, and it's not coming out. It's stuck in there, so that's what we want. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put our image down onto our block. So what I'm going to do with this is I debated on whether or not to tear it. And I'm not going to tear it. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it because I'm going to use the whole image. I could tear it, but I, I like all the little berry bushes and stuff that's on here, so... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tear it I'm just gonna cut it and so I'm gonna cut this out best I can along its little creases here my heaters on again y'all Sorry, I know it's kind of noisy. It's a beast. It's a beast. This is Thanksgiving, so I'm happy. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm happy. My tummy's full, and I'm happy. We did barbecue. <laughs> it was a nice twist on Thanksgiving this year. 
I'm probably gonna cook a little turkey breast for myself tomorrow. But today we had barbecue. So I hope everybody's holiday was nice. I like the holidays. I intended on getting this video done sooner, but things just kept getting in the way and I just couldn't get back to it. So um, I'm finishing it up this evening, hopefully. We'll see how far I get. Now I'm going to keep one of these layers because I want to be able to see my design. And I'll show you in just a minute. I'm trying to get this. I know I'm out of frame. I'm trying to get this separated right here without tearing it. It's not cooperating very well, if you can see. Golly. Come on now. Don't do me like that. <laughs> I'm going to start singing Tom Petty to you in a minute. Don't do me like that. Alright, here we go. Got it. Now, if I just put this image down, I'm afraid that it would be too transparent and that I wouldn't be able to see enough of it. Um, I still do want the sparklies to kind of show around and glow, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on first and then my image so we're gonna just go ahead and apply some mod podge i've got my gloss luster mod podge for your project you can do whatever kind of mod podge you like i like the gloss so that's what i like to do and i've got an artist brush here and i'm not taking it all the way out to the edge because you know, you don't need it all the way out to here. I mean, it'll dry clear, so if you get it somewhere it's not supposed to go, it's not going to be a huge thing. But you want to try to be fairly neat with it if you can be. That's hard for me because, as we know, I'm messy. I'm going to try to do this without wrinkling it. I'm going to try. <laughs> but I'm not very good at that either. So generally I stick with the shabby chic look because my work sometimes comes out shabby and chic. <laughs> oh. I'm being silly today. All my tummy's full. <laughs> I promise I didn't have any eggnog. Y'all are probably wondering about that. <laughs> okay. At least not yet. There's always room. All right, let's see here. Now, I'm going to just set that down and keep this over here. And I'm going to set my napkin down on top. I haven't mastered the art of not wrinkling this, so I'm going to see here. I'm going to get my saran wrap. I already have it kind of unwound. There we go. I'm going to place that over. And smooth it down. Yep, it's going to wrinkle. Oh well. It'll be all right. I always admire people who can get this on here without wrinkling it. Because that's really hard for me to do, seems like. Uh, 
Okay, that's on, so I'm going to carefully peel that back. Don't want to pull up. Just want to pull back. If you lift it up, you might lift your napkin, so don't do that. All right, now, I didn't get this side uh, down very good, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit underneath there. See if I can get that to go down. It's going to wrinkle or tear or something. Oh, well. I didn't do that exactly the way I wanted to do it, but it's okay. I'm just going to make sure I get all the way over the edge of my napkin. And I'm being quite liberal with Mod Podge because I want it to soak through, but this is so thick. This little batch of Mod Podge is pretty thick. I might wind up adding just a touch of water to it. That's kind of helping it along a little bit. And I am getting it over, so I'll just clean it up a little bit before I put it in to dry. I've got my oven on warm again because I'm going to dry it in there. I think it helps it to dry faster. Okay, and while that's still wet, I'm going to go ahead and place my image down. Hopefully I won't have quite as much trouble with it. But, like I said earlier, I'm really just kind of playing around today. It's just something I wanted to do. So it's not going to be, it's not really, it's not for somebody, it's mine. So, if it's not exactly perfect, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, and not for me anyway. That did a little better than my other one. So now I'm going to go ahead and smooth that one down. So that, I'm not just getting a new piece because that one's kind of sticky from the other glue. Another piece of saran wrap. Put that on here. We'll smooth it. I think this image is so cute with the girl and the geese following her around in this little wintry scene. It's so cute. I've been wanting to do something with this napkin for a while, but I just didn't know what I was going to do. Then I woke up one day and said, I'm going to do this. <laughs> And that may be how a lot of creative ideas are born. <laughs> you just wake up one day and say, I'm going to do this. Alright, so that's on there. And I'm going to get my Mod Podge on. I liked diluting it a little bit because it's awfully thick. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I usually start in the center. 
and go out. I don't want to make a mess with that Mod Podge, but I do want to make sure I get it all the way out to the edge of my napkin. So if I make a mess, I'll just have to deal with it and clean it up. Add a little water. Okay, she's on there. So I'm going to get a damp paper towel. I have a paper towel over here. And I'm just going to get a little bit of my water on that. Just a tad. I'm just going to go on my edge. Just a little. I don't want to touch my napkin, but which I did. But it's okay. It's all good. I need to fix it or tear it or something. I'll just tear it. Because we're gonna do something to that anyways. It's already tried to dry on here, so I'm going to have to scrub at it a little bit. Okay guys, um, this is all ready now. I did wind up putting on three coats of the Mod Podge. I let it dry in between and I sanded it in between with a coarse sanding block. And then I finalized the coat with a uh, coat of the Duraclair high gloss that okay. we used to put the glitter All on. Alright guys, so of now the box. this is going to go into And I think it looks oven, pretty good. Um, I, I wound like up, how it's turned out. You know, when I put the glitter um, in the oven, this is super the glitter step in the, the oven. Sparkly. I wound up only leaving it in there for about an hour and that was enough. It had set. Like so. I'm going to stick this in. I'm going to check it after a half an hour or so. Bit. When it gets done, get that I will to where be it back. doesn't reflect. I've tried it in a different ways. So hopefully we'll be able to see through the rest of the project here. And so what I'm going to do next is I want to 
put on some of the rub and buff around the edges. It's just something that I would like to do, so that's what I'm going to do. And you just get a little bit on your finger. I'll put the cap back on so it doesn't go everywhere. And then you just kind of go around. Like so. It's not going to hurt it if I get it on the napkin itself. It might actually look kind of cool maybe. I don't know. So we'll just do a little bit here and there. It does have kind of an odor to it, so make sure you're using it in an open area, not a closed up space, or you might asphyxiate yourself because it does have a pretty strong little chemical odor to it, which is another reason I liked my other stuff because it didn't have that, but they don't make it anymore. I can't stop digging about that because I really liked it. <laughs> than I loved and now they don't have it anymore but you know isn't that the way you find something you really really like and you wish that they would just make it forever and then they don't <laughs> it's always a bummer when that happens I'm going to turn this up so I can see what I'm doing here Kind of blend that in a little bit more. I'm not sure if I like that. Mm, I don't think I like that, so I'm gonna try to get some of that off. I have a damp towel here, and I'm just gonna try to rub some of that off of there. I got too much. If I had only gotten a little bit, it would have been better, I think. But worst case, I can always sand some of that off, and I might just do that and put some more glaze on. I really think I just want this around this here. It's kind of hard to tell when you can't see what you're doing. The only way I can see is if I tip it up. Let me see again. Let me just see again. Yeah, see, I got it on the gooseies and I don't want it on there. So, let me see. I wonder if I can sand some of that off. Let me just see if that will work. This might get a little shaky for a second while I try this. I didn't expect it to dry so quick. The other didn't dry as quick as this did. Which I find a little irritating also. Let me see if that's even helping. Yeah, that's helping a little bit. So I'll continue with that. Just gonna kind of sand some of that off now. So, you know, this is why it's not a tutorial. <laughs> I told y'all, I don't always know what I'm doing, so. And this is new material for me. I haven't used it a whole lot. So you never know what it's going to do. Alright, that's better. I can live with that. I can live with that. It's got a few sparkly silver areas on it. I'm just going to wipe that off. And see where we're at. Yeah, that's much better. That's better. Okay, and I'm going to put 
a little more glaze on there. Just a tad. Just a little bit. To kind of go over where I sanded it off. Doesn't need to be a whole lot, but... Just to make it shiny again. Okay. Alright, that's pretty. I like that better. Okay, because this is a little ledge here, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. Even though this is kind of damp, if it sticks, I'll just redo it. <laughs> I don't think it's going to touch. So I'm going to find out. We're going to turn it over so I can do the back side. So set it down careful like. And I'm going to try not to get this all over because I really didn't like that as well as I thought I would. I got it a little bit in the corner, so I'll just smudge it out with my dry finger. I suppose you could probably brush this on too, and you would maybe have more control. And I have big hands. If you have smaller fingers, it might work a little better for you so that you didn't get it everywhere. Um, you can experiment with it and let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> let me know what you think about this stuff in the comments, guys, because I'm curious to see if everybody else, you know, likes it or doesn't like it. I mean, I think it's really pretty. Maybe it's just that I'm used to my other stuff and I don't know quite how to manipulate this yet is probably what it is because it is a lot creamier than the Doc Holiday that I was used to. I used to have some rub and buff polish back in the day. I played drums and I would use the rub and buff polish to polish my cymbals. But that's the only experience I have with most of the rub and buff products. I'm not really used to this. But, you know, it's, I think this side's turning out a little better. I'll know in just a second when I turn it up towards me so I can see. Yeah, that's a little better. It's kind of messy, but that's okay. Messy's all right. We can do messy. Looks pretty cool. I like it. All right, now... I'm going to wipe this off of my fingers real quick. Hopefully. So I can get it scrubbed off for the most part. It's like everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Okay, so now... Yay, it didn't stick. I didn't think it would. First of all, this dries really quick. This, this does. And... This dries really quick, so it didn't, you know, it's, it didn't stick. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my lights in. And on the bottom here, there's a little slot for those to go through. And so I'm going to kind of undo these. There goes my heater. Cause it's cold outside. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. I went over to my auntie's to have the barbecue. I don't know if I said that's what I was going to do or not, but that's what I did and it was good and it was nice to visit with everybody. Okay, let's see here. Let's go stick that in there. I'm not going to be really picky about where they go. I'm just going to stick this in here and then put that on there. 
I'm going to move that towards the back. We'll do that in a minute. <laughs> okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my bow with my tool. And I have no idea how much of this I'm going to need, so I'm figuring I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Well, I'm going to need at least twice that, so I'm just going to go three times that length, maybe. And hopefully that's enough. If not, I can always add more. So, yeah. I'm just going to kind of cut it right there and see what I wind up with. Now I'm going to put that on there. Move this out of the way. If you had some tape, you could tape that down, but I don't, so I'll fix it in a minute. Right now, I just want it to kind of be out of the way. So I can put my bow. Well, that didn't work out, did it? Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> it's always fun to not know what you're doing. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this back in here. You know what I should do? Let's turn this lid around. That's exactly what I'm going to do because I think that would help hold it in place. Just got to be smarter than the average bear, which apparently I'm not. <laughs> okay. Cooperate, please. And I'm just going to set this down on top of this. There. <laughs> now. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing because I've got it right side up now. I'm just going to pull this and, you know, evenly to the top here. And I'm going to tie a little bow. I think I'm just going to tie a knot for now because I want it to be a fluffy bow. And it's not going to be fluffy enough. So let's do that. More tool. And I'm just going to pull some off of here. You know, just a few pulls. Now I'm going to kind of go, I'm just going to make, I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, that'll be fine. Do those a little smaller so I can have an even number. There we go. That'll work. I'm not going to try to flip this up yet. Now, I'm going to tie this off. and flip it all up. Try to kind of manipulate it and flip it. That might be too big. <laughs> too much bigger is better. I like big. Big and fluffy. Big and fluffy. I just don't really want it to overwhelm my little picture. For, I think that's good. And I'll show you in just a minute. I'll dump it right side up in a second here. Oh, that's too long still. 
So you just trim your little ends off wherever you would like to have them. And I think that's good, okay. So here's what we have. We have our bow. Can you see everything? I don't know, I've got a gray background here so it might be hard to see. And I've got my little bow. And I've got my sparkly side. And I have my light sticking off the back here. And I'm just going to go ahead and tuck this last little light that keeps wanting to come out. I'm just going to tuck that back up in there. I might tape that in place later. And I do have a little um, stand to set this on. I'll take a picture of that when I'm done. But let's go ahead and turn the lights on and see what we have. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's really, really pretty. You can see some of the glitter through here. You can see my design. I love it. I think it's really, really cute. And the bow, you know, not being so colorful, doesn't take away from the picture at all. It just kind of accents it, which is what I was going for. And I really like this. So I will take a picture of it on its little stand. And see, if you had, you know, if you had the flat kind, you would just tuck it in under here, which I suppose I could do with that one when I get it on the stand. It's not going to set like that, but you would just tuck it in under here, under your bow, and then it stays there and you don't see it. Um, but I didn't have the flat kind. I will eventually get them for this, but I think it turned out really cute. I am very pleased with this little project that I just decided to do for myself, moi. And let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Let me know if you decided to try it. Um, it was very easy and I could see all kinds of potential with this um, glitter method. I mean, because wouldn't it be pretty to just, you know, paint something here or here or here, you know, and then have all this pretty glitter in the background? That would be pretty just by itself. But I think these would make great Christmas presents. Easy to do. I mean, you know, it only took me a day or two to make this. So all in all, probably about 24 hours total dry time included so let me know what you think I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time okay bye bye